Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. I am really excited today because we are heading out to a cafe. Now, in case you're wondering, why are you excited about going to a cafe? You have so many here in Kolkata. Now, the reason why I'm excited is because, first of all, it's a Korean cafe. Secondly, they have something called Einspanner that I really want to try out. Thirdly, now, they don't just have a hot version of the Einspanner, but they even have a cold version of the Einspanner. And I, particularly, am looking forward to trying out the cold Einspanner. In case you're wondering what is an Einspanner, we're going to find out in a few moments, alright? So stick around. Now, apart from that, we are also going to try out some of the dishes off the menu. And uh, we will try to find out if they actually serve authentic Korean dishes as well or not. So, since this is a food blog, as always, we are going to talk about the taste, most definitely. We are going to talk about the price, the quantity, the presentation. And since we are visiting this place physically, we are also going to talk about the ambience. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put up all the information about where this place is, what the name is, again, in case you've missed that out. It's called Cafe Talk, but I will put in the details in the description box, so feel free to check it out. So, let's go together, folks, and find out what Cafe Talk here in Kolkata has to offer. Let's go. As soon as you open the doors and enter the cafe, you're greeted with this uh, very nice and bright decor. You have a lot of lights and as you can see, there's also uh, a lot of books on the shelf. And in case you're wondering why, then uh, just for your information, they also run a Korean language school, which is on the right hand side. So in case you want to pick up the Korean language, then feel free to contact them and sign up for one of the Korean language courses. Now, as you enter, you have these nice, uh, uh, you know, tables and the chairs decorated in a nice way. You even have that uh, goodies table, as I call it, where you have all the goodies like donuts, you have pizza slices, you have egg tarts, etc. And as you walk towards the counter, in fact, right behind the counter uh, is an open kitchen so you can see all the lovely people at cafe Toff working in front of you as they um, cook up and uh, prepare all these lovely things so it's an open kitchen concept and I think it really adds to the whole decor of the place it uh, gives you a very transparent feel you also have the cafe top food menus we're gonna take a look at this in detail in just a short bit and as I pan across you can see how big the cafe is you even have a verse from the Bible because this is after all run by uh, a beautiful couple a Korean couple who are Christians and uh, as you can see it's uh, got a lot of natural light coming in as well and uh, the walls have been covered with beautiful wallpapers uh, they had a nice texture probably 
uh, not captured here on camera some nice pictures on the wall and uh, overall uh, you could say that it's beautiful the decor is very nice the ambience is very nice and a very good lighting as well the menu is really simple as you can see they've got some uh, popular Korean picnic food like kimbap rice balls they've even got some kimchi momos stir noodles some ramen let's try some of these dishes and find out how delicious they are I also wanted to quickly point out that they had this open table concept where they had displayed a lot of the uh, uh, bakery items you had some bagels some uh, pizza slices you had donuts egg tarts and um, even these cream buns which we are gonna try out in a bit and uh, they all look so good can't wait to try them out okay look at all this food We've got some kimchi Korean food is incomplete without your good old kimchi some rice balls it looks decently sized is this the kimchi fried rice yeah so that's kimchi fried rice with um, with uh, an egg on top what's that is that uh, oh all right so that's kimbap and then you finally got this which i believe is the ramen wow this looks nice oh okay let me just take a look at that and oh look at that Whoa. awesome awesome okay look at all that delicious food on the table wow so i'm gonna start off with the rice balls Some cute rice balls. Mm. Very nice and flavorful. What's that? What's that thing called? Uh, the uh, the thin uh, sheet of thing. You know the fish. Uh, what's it called? Yeah. Mm. The kimchi is nice. Wow, it's got a bunch of uh, hotness. Wow, kicks in. Mm. So, hmm. Oh. Wow, this this is spicy. I'm gonna try kimbap. This, by the way, this is a fantastic item. It's called a kimbap, I believe, and you've got to try it. It's really tasty. I think it's got some chicken. It's got um, uh, a crab stick in there, some eggs and uh, carrots. But yeah, extremely delicious. So you should try this out. Uh, I'm gonna dig in and you know try another one of that. And uh, that's it. Mm. Really good. It's time now for some kimchi fried rice. Fried rice is very nice. By the way, finally, the, I want to try the ramen as well. Yeah, the, now, now it's the good stuff here. The ramen. Wow, look at that. Now, Koreans, Japanese, very famous for ramen. So, we're gonna try the ramen now. Mm. 
very good. Very good. Very nice flavors. I'm gonna try some soup out as well. Really good. I think you know my favorite is the kimbap. The kimbap is really nice. Um, and uh, you can't, it, it's one item which you can't go wrong with, as you say. So, you should definitely try this out. This is so good. Mm. Please forget the way the uh, plate looks, but. Um, just wanted to add that when you're having this um, these rice balls you know you should actually mix them with the lettuce that they serve along with it the lettuce has a nice sweet sesame um, flavored uh, kind of a sauce on top of it and it's sweet by the way it goes very well along with this rice ball the rice ball is also very flavorful it's got that flavor of sea beets uh, I believe and um, sesame again and um, you take a bite of this along with the lettuce and uh, well again something you can't go wrong with this all right so this is very delicious i'm gonna try this like this all right there you go That is very good. The rice balls with the lettuce is very good. In fact, the first time I had the rice balls, I didn't try it out with the lettuce because the lettuce makes the difference. You know, it's got the sweet sesame sauce or very, very nice, you know, flavorful, sweet. I love, you know, a hint of sweetness in uh, some of the food uh, dishes and this is really good. It, it has that perfect balance, you could say. Okay, we also ordered some black bean noodles, as you can see again look at the um, the thickness of the noodles and if you've seen my previous videos i'm very particular about the thickness of the noodles uh, in this case the noodles or the ramen uh, nice and thick looks very nice it's got some cucumber and a fried egg on top and um, looks delicious can't wait to try this out okay now i'm gonna try out the black bean noodles and uh, i'm gonna try out the egg first Mm. And again, I did comment about the thickness of the noodles. I just spoke to the um, owners of this place, and they have mentioned that you know, I mean, these noodles they basically you know import them from Korea. Mm. Mm. Wow. This noodles is so good. It's got it's got um, some I think some dark soy and some light soy, but it's just so good. I mean, it's 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 nice and juicy, not soupy. It's juicy. Um, very good flavors. Uh, again, the cucumber on top, this cucumber salad on top. You know, when you mix it along with the noodles, it gives it a unique taste. Uh, something that you don't get in you know the usual Chinese type food that you get here in Kolkata so that's that's unique and uh, again I love it because it's nice and juicy not soupy it's juicy it's like you know when you cook Maggi at home and um, um, you know you dry the soup uh, not not to an extent you know where it's dry and too rubbery but to an extent where it's nice and slippery so it's it's that kind of a, you know consistency in the sauce in the noodles Again, nice and juicy, very, very tasty, very yummy. Just love it. Okay, I want to mention this again about the kimbap especially. The kimbap was so good. It's got that perfect balance of, you know, meat, crab stick, and egg. And, you know, it all comes together so beautifully in such a small piece of a thing, you know. I mean, so cute, so beautiful. But as soon as you put it in the mouth, um, all these flavors will burst inside your mouth. And, you know, it comes together and creates that perfect harmony of uh, you know these different items and uh, that's so unique about it so we really love the kimbap we would highly recommend that you actually try the kimbap out when you come here to cafe talk highly highly recommend it now for the favorite part of our <laughs> day food like I always say is incomplete without dessert see so you've, here you've got one 
small loaf of cream bun and also some sugar coated donuts. Wow. So let's start trying them out and find out how delicious they are. The donuts, wow, so soft. You can make out that it's freshly baked. Again, perfect um, balance of sugar, not very sweet. And now I'm gonna try out the cream bun. This looks fantastic. I'm gonna try, yeah. Wow. Look at that. So it's filled with cream. Wow. All right. Let's try this now. I know you won't be able to make this out on the camera, but I can smell the butter. I can smell the butter in it, okay? So there's, the, there's it's, it's filled with cream. It's got butter. Mm. I think this is gonna go very well with black coffee but I guess you can make out by the smile on my face as to how good this is mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. I still remember you know when I was a kid my mom used to toast some bread and then put some cream on top of it and then sprinkle some sugar all right this in fact reminds me of that it's got bread it's got butter it's got cream and it's got sugar uh, powdered sugar sprinkled on top of it and you've got to try this out wow again look at that Also, it's not very sweet and you know I keep saying this that I do not like desserts you know which are extremely sweet so perfect balance although it is on the heavier side so one loaf I believe should be enough for let's say four friends a group of four people we are three here and um, I think we are overloading ourselves with a lot of butter and cream but this is absolutely delicious must try again just quickly wanted to mention about this cream bun it it definitely reminded me of my childhood days I'm sure you know if you've had cream and butter toast at home with some with some sugar it's gonna remind you of that the butter is so good I mean the moment you take the bread yeah you can smell the butter and again i think you can make out by the smile that i have on my face as to how good this is this in fact took me back to my childhood days and i've had this nostalgic feeling but uh, it's a must try item and this is something that you won't get in the bakeries out here fruities or any bakery for that you know cookie jar or cakes you won't get this you know it gives you that homely feeling and uh, at the same time you know this is all very high quality material ingredients used and um, a very very big big thumbs up you know for this must try here okay we've got this uh, cup of hot chocolate as well along with a beautiful heart shaped marshmallow look at how beautiful that looks how well it's presented wow and look at my kid he's <laughs> giving it two hearts <laughs> even before he's tried that out but let's find out how it actually tastes as you can you want to take a quick sip and let us know how you feel the hot chocolate is Oh yeah, there's that nod. Good? It's good or it's very good? Very good, all right. Now this is what I'm here for, especially this, this thing here, this little piece here, yeah? This is the cold iron spanner, all right? And this is the only place in Kolkata that I know of where you actually get a cold version of an iron spanner. 
and I've <laughs> come such a long way from Newtown over this place here, which is in South Kolkata in Santoshpur, especially to try this out. So, cheers. Mm. Doesn't disappoint. I've had this before here in Cafe Talk, by the way, and it's still the same. It's so good. You've got this nice, thick layer of fresh cream, a very light fresh cream, and then right at the bottom, you've got your coffee, a cold brew coffee. Mm. And when you sip this, you know, just take your take your time and let the coffee come inside your mouth as well. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Just love it. In fact, what I've been waiting to do is have a piece of this <laughs> along with the ice banner. Mm. 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 It feels I'm I'm in a creamy heaven. <laughs> So good, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh. By the way, I completely forgot to mention that I even got myself some egg, egg tarts. So these are beautiful looking egg tarts. And I'm gonna take a bite into this and find out how it is. Mm. So soft. The egg's been beaten to perfection. And um, it's a very light, light dessert that you can have along with some coffee. And this is one of the very few places here in Kolkata that I can think of where you actually get these egg tarts. You won't find them in you know your standard cafes. Um, so if you do want to try these egg tarts out, uh, then Cafe Top is definitely one of those places where you can actually come and have these. And they're very good, very light. Um, the um, the tart crust is nice and crunchy. Mm. And uh, on the inside you have the egg. Mm. With a flavor of vanilla. Beautiful. Excellent. And we wanted to finally share the copy of the bill as well, just to show you how much this whole experience really cost us. Now, as you can see, we ordered one kimbap, which was 238 rupees, one kimchi, um, uh, kimchi fried rice, I believe. And uh, there was the black bean noodles, the ramen, the rice ball, two wine spanners, and the hot chocolate. And all of this cost us just 1820 rupees. Now, in case you're wondering, you know, why don't I have the cream bun or the egg tart or um, even the donuts mentioned here? Then, thanks to the generosity of uh, lovely hosts, uh, the beautiful Korean couple Shin and Anyun. By the way, a quick disclaimer we are friends with them as well. And uh, they were very, very generous in giving us those items on the house. So that's why you don't see them on the bill here. But uh, having said that, even uh, without those items here, even if we added them, then I think you know this whole experience would not um, would not go beyond the 2,500 rupee mark. And you have seen in the video we've eaten quite a lot. So if you are a group of four people, I think you know you can comfortably look at spending around uh, maybe around the 2,000 rupees mark. So that's 500 rupees per person if you come here and try to experience this again can't stop raving about the quality of the ingredients that they have used all high quality and um, extremely delicious and when it comes to the price as you can see on camera then it's priced quite well all right folks so that brings us to the close of this video what do you think of this place we particularly enjoyed our time here we really love the coffee here especially the iron spanner and that is highly recommended. It's a must try. 
if you visit Cafe Toff. In fact, you will not find this anywhere else here in Kolkata. Um, so you won't get this in Cafe Coffee Day, you won't get this in Barista or even Starbucks. The only place where you get the Iron Spanner, um, the hot and the cold version, is here in Cafe Toff and highly recommend it. You know, again, can't stop raving about it because it's that good. Now, apart from that, um, what do you think of this video? Let us know in the comment box below. If there's any other place that you think we should visit here in Kolkata, then please do put out those suggestions. We would love to hear from you. And uh, that brings us to the close of this video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. In case you have, as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It definitely encourages and motivates me to put out more content for all you good folks. And um, also hit that bell icon if you like this content and if you want to get notified whenever I put up my new video, then hitting that bell icon would also help. And uh, please go ahead and share this video with your friends and family members. As always, share the love. May they also enjoy the Heinz Spanner and all the lovely items you know that uh, Cafe Top has to offer. With that said, that's it for this one. It's a wrap for this one, folks. Thank you so much for watching again. Take care, stay safe, and until the next one, guys. God bless you all.